we haven't done game maker in a while okay so maybe we should do something in game maker today so let's open this example here this is one of my examples okay turn off the grid for now close to all this bunch of stuff here i don't actually need this because this is a drag and drop it's a lot easier okay so let me run this and this is what it does it writes text on the screen now this is looping here just to show you this uh, example so this is what we're going to do today um, but we are going to do it uh, with drag and drop okay so let's get started um, this is what we got so far now this is just a picture okay nothing special about that and my room is uh, 640 by 480 if you want to follow along with this example and um, yeah let's get started so I got two layers here so let me just work on this layer here so first let's make an object or my objects right click create a new object so let's add an event to the object create and uh, we are going to create a variable just drag the variable and uh, let's call the variable uh, what can we call the variable? we're gonna call the variable letx okay we can set that to zero now if you run this you will notice that nothing happens whoa that's that's crazy and that's because variables are invisible all right so let's output the variable double click on the object again and uh, let's draw that variable okay draw text now i used this recently i can just drag that from here but uh, if you can't find it it's at the bottom this here under drawing draw text now if you run this now you will notice that nothing happens wow that's the second time and the reason for that is because we haven't uh, put that on the screen so let's let's do that now put that on the screen now it has no graphics so it's just going to show up this uh, question mark okay so if you want the text to show up here let me double click on this again we want to make this uh, relative to itself run this and there is our caption let me replace the uh, caption for something else that's just text it really text let's call this a uh, flower now for the value you can enter anything here let's say um, hello this is a test okay I think this has to be in quotations <coughs> run it and there is our text okay so now now a lot of people think that drag and drop will limit you to um, what you can do in game maker and uh, actually it's the opposite let me show you why if I type string here you can see that I have access to all kinds of different commands actually just about everything that GameMaker can do with um, with the word string so what I want is a um, copy string okay so I have the uh, string index number and the count okay so the string is going to say hey guys this is a test okay comma this is the string number I guess I can make it one or zero doesn't really matter and for the um, amount of text I want to show up I want to show only three characters for this just for this example try it out there you go it's only showing three characters now if I change this to say um, five characters I 
it's going to show me five characters so let's um, use the variable instead of this let's go back to our variable we created here now this variable is called le text okay so instead of a number we're going to punch in the variable number which is le text le le text oops but I do the time there we go so now it's not going to show me anything because latex is set to zero okay so let's go to latex and let's set it to say 10 there you go let me set it to zero again and uh, this time let's make it so if we press a key um, say we press the up key we can add one to that variable it's gonna be um, lit text um, oops lit text plus one Try it out. Press up. And that is our typing effect in real life. Now we want that to be automatic. So you could probably just do it um, as a step event. Just for this example, you can use anything you like. Uh, let me just replace that event there change that for step event and now it's going to do it automatically there you go now you could do anything to slow this down uh, for example um, I could uh, change this to something else so let's make another variable to slow it down now there's a lot of ways to slow it down this is just uh, the lazy way to slow it down let's call this uh, hh and set this to zero and instead of adding one to um, latex we're going to add one to hh of course you're not going to be able to see hh because it's invisible okay so now this shows nothing okay on the driver step event let's throw a uh, if statement okay there's our if, if statement so if um, hh hh is um, uh, less than 10 okay we can keep adding one to hh we can say um, hh H H plus one. If you run this, nothing is going to happen. Of course. Let me throw another if statement. Oops, not not in the same uh, line. I want it to be a separate statement. If H H is uh, greater or equals uh, 10 we can uh, set it back to 0 h h equals 0 again if you run this you will notice that nothing happens so when this reaches uh, 10 um, we actually want to set the other variable plus the one the other variable is called it's called let text let text plus one there we go and there is our text effect
All right, guys, so don't forget to leave a comment and smack the like button. See you in the next video. Bye now.